Crazy Grandpa. My grandpa is crazy. He thinks at night that ghosts are coming to kidnap him and take him away. He says that the ghosts are friends of his who died in World War II and that they're angry with him because he left him behind during a bombing. At night when he's not staring out his living room window, waiting, he gets nightmares and screams out of his mind. I'm surprised Grandma Eva hasn't left him. My name is Vincent Mike and my grandpa's name is Steven. He's 70 and Eva is 80. It's a good thing I'm only staying here for a week because my mom and dad told me about Steven. But it's only for a week. It's creepy to think that you're in a house with an unstable person. But he's harmless. Or so you would think. Well, let me tell you. One night I was thirsty. And I got up and went downstairs to get some water. When I got the water, I saw my grandpa staring out his living room window and to his huge front yard. He was talking to himself in the dark. Grandpa, are you okay? I asked him. Yeah, he replied. I'm just waiting. I slowly walked over to him. I think he should sleep. He said, no, I can't. They don't let me sleep. They come in my dreams telling me to be ready. Then he lifted his arm and pointed outside. Look, there, he said with his eyes wide open. I looked out the window. Where, I said, right there, close to the tree. It's just a bush, plus there's too much fog, I said. My grandpa looked at me and said, that means they're closer. I shook my head and said I was going to bed and told my grandpa to get some sleep too. The next day was an ordinary day. I went to the mall and came home. Grandpa and I played cards and soon it got dark and it was time to go to sleep. As I lay in bed, I couldn't get to sleep. So I decided to go down and watch television in the living room. But before I could get up, I saw what looked like my grandpa standing in the doorway of my room in the dark. Grandpa, what are you doing there? I said and gave out a moan. Ooh. Grandpa, what's wrong? I asked. And then I knew it wasn't him because its eyes started to glow red. I was scared out of my mind. I screamed. Then the strange shadow vanished. Grandma and Grandpa came running in. What's wrong, Vincent? Grandma, a Grandpa asked. Nothing. I, I was dreaming, I said. Grandpa came over and sat close to me and said, You saw one of them, didn't you? No, I was dreaming, I replied. Grandpa stood up, gave me a kiss in the forehead, and walked out the room, turning out the light behind him. But I couldn't sleep. Maybe there is something out there, I thought. I got up and went downstairs to the living room. But where Grandpa usually was, he wasn't there. I slowly walked over to the window and looked out. Then I waited and waited for anything. A half hour passed and I was ready to go to sleep when I saw something in the tall grassy yard of my grandpa's house. A dark shadow rose and stood. What the hell? I whispered. Then to the far left another shadow stood. Then another until there was 50 black shadows in my grandpa's yard. Oh my god, I thought to myself. There was too much fog. Maybe there was more. I couldn't believe it. I ran to call Grandma and Grandpa from downstairs. After waiting a second, I ran to call police. A man answered. I told him there were strange people outside my house and that the cops should come. I grabbed the knife from the kitchen cabinet and ran to see how, how close the shadows were. They were still there. I knew I had to wake up Grandma and Grandpa. I was going upstairs when I saw a shadow standing at the top. What do you want? I shouted. I knew I had to be brave, so I bolted toward it and tried to push through the shadow, but it was like there was a wall there. 
Face to face, its eyes gave a red glow, but it didn't say anything. Leave my family alone, I screamed. I was paranoid. I knew I had to do something, so I stabbed it in the stomach repeatedly. Surprisingly, it didn't give a good fight. It fell to the ground flat, but I knew it wasn't dead. I had to make sure, so I slit its throat. I was filled with adrenaline, but after I cut its throat, I stood up just to find another shadow standing extremely close to my grandpa's room. My heart was pounding out of control. I ran and grabbed it and threw it to the ground. Strangely, it didn't give a good fight either, so I slit its throat too. I was covered in blood. I managed to get to my grandfather's room and turn the light. Grandma and Grandpa weren't there. And at that moment, the cops arrived. I went out of the bedroom to find Grandma and Grandpa laying dead where the shadows were. What the hell is going on? I screamed. There was blood everywhere. The police surrounded the house and shouted to whoever was inside to come out. I did. Before I could explain what happened, he bolted in, looked around, and found my relatives on the floor. I had the knife in my hand. I tried to explain, but they didn't listen. Everything is alright now. I'm in an asylum. I've been here about two years, and I still see those black shadows every now and then. You know, it's strange how things turn out at the end.